nice to see you. Nice to see you, Janelle. Beyond excited for you in this movie. Thank you. I adore you. Thank Nothing you. Nothing personal. So <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm, I'm like, she's the center of it. I have I to, get to say, work I'm Can you believe it? <laughs> Talk about, this reminded me of like a modern day Agatha Christie. You know mm. what I mean? How much fun was it making this movie? Let's start with you, Janelle. Too much fun. Like when I heard the cast, who they were going to be, I was just like so excited to get to honestly just watch them. I, I grew up looking at studying the films that Edward has been in. Obviously, I saw, you know, the original Knives Out and was just like iconic detective that I get to be in any scenes with. What a dream. And um, once I met everybody, too, I was like, this is the right thing to go back into because for me a lot of things got canceled because of the pandemic and I didn't know when I was going to get you know offered anything or considered to be a part of something and you know getting invited to Greece <laughs> not so bad not so bad not so shabby um, and getting a chance to play this character Andy this character that Ryan has written allowed me to just go places that I, I hadn't been able to, to, to go to, and I'm thankful for all the films that I had done prior to that, because I wouldn't have been able to do a role as, <laughs> if you watch it, as big as this, you know? It, it, it required precision, and comedy, and drama, and deep emotional well that, that I had to pull from, but all of it left me better, I think, as, a, as an actor, and just overall human, I think, yeah. And for you, Ed, we've seen you mostly in serious stuff. It's nice to see you play someone goofy, for lack of a better word, someone who is very, lacks self-awareness. Yes, well, <laughs> when you when you go from a deep drama like Death to Smoochie, and... Uh, yeah, <laughs> no. no, you have some... I'm telling you, I, 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 uh, I, I mean, I look at Fight Club as a comedy, to be honest. Like, we were laughing mm. the whole time we were making that song. <laughs> Maybe maybe it's only the group of us. That yeah. No, it's it's you. It's it's um. It's not as different. I mean, comedy is very liberating, because you get to do the same. You get to do the same process of character, character building and and creation. But you just get to push it. You get to mm -hmm. push. And it still has to be played straight, and it has to be played with conviction. Mm -hmm. But you just get to push things into their extreme in mm -hmm. ways that are um, that are pretty liberating. Actually, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun to 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 be excessive. My character certainly has excesses of of uh, <laughs> of self regard. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and Miles Braun. Yeah, no, it's it's um, and he's, I like, I think we all appreciate it that Ryan's Ryan's version of the murder mystery is, is laced through with the the matrix mm -hmm. of the society we're actually living in right now. It's mm -hmm. not like a museum piece, and I think I think one of the reasons people are enjoying this so much is that it sends up, it sends up a species of people that mm. that we're all pretty familiar with and maybe a little tired of. <laughs> Agreed. Absolutely. Yeah. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. This movie was fun. It was a good time. <laughs> oh. oh, Kate, I went to school with a girl like Birdie. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Pretty, pretty on the outside. The elevator didn't come up. Oh. I want to talk about the scene where Daniel is saying to her, in, in essence, like, just because you feel like saying everything <laughs> doesn't mean it's profound. And she's like, you're right. calling me dangerous. And he's like... Good Lord, what is happening? Yeah. So how hard was that to me? Because I know, like in your mind, you want to laugh, but you you can't because she yeah. doesn't realize she's the butt of the joke. Yeah, always. Yeah, Birdie's always the butt of the joke. She, um, I mean, I feel like Birdie is just sort of oblivious. She doesn't. She she. Her, you know, I was saying this in the press conference, and I, you know, I think that. Her, her lack of intelligence, you know, is actually kind of real. It's, you know, and, and the way she makes up for that and, you know, the, the, how she's been able to rest her, what she's rest her laurels on for her whole life and whether it be like, you know, smoke and mirrors, underneath that is a real lack of intelligence and, and, and then on top of that is a sort of a, such a desire to be seen and, and, and heard and validated that, you know, she's never really, 
she's never really, um, uh, what am I trying to say? She's, ne she's never really like been able to create the tool to really know how to like be empathetic or engage or, you know. Um, so in a moment like that, I think she's really, all she's saying, all she's seeing is, you know, that she wants this guy to be attracted her. to her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. She didn't hear anything you really she said. Didn't hear anything. Yeah, no, she's just really not there. Yeah. No, yeah. It just, like, yeah. yeah. She's like, he's looking at me. Exactly. <laughs> and speaking with those blue yeah. eyes. Is that dangerous? <laughs> yes. And Catherine, your character is really how the political climate that we're in right now. She needs the money to fund her dreams, and at the same time, you have to make a decision between um, your morals and where you want to be. Talk a little about because you know this is really eerie because you're you're watching and you go, eh, that's sad. It's funny, but it's kind of going on. Yes, it's eerie. That's exactly that's exactly the word I would I would use. And you know the. Uh, the brilliance of Ryan Johnson's writing is that it's all right there in the in the script. I think to what Kate was even talking to with Birdie, like these people, and to like your echoing of how you went to school with a person that reminded you of Birdie. Like these people, that's why they're so recognizable. He just can. We didn't even have to go really outside of the script. Like these are people that are all. Mm. recognizable to all of us. Like I didn't have to even go to a specific person it's just you know we we all it was this in this script and this in this set of rules in this game that ryan set out i knew exactly <laughs> who that was you know that made total sense to me that this is a person who for all that she was would what would want to to do good in the world she needed this in order to do it and that made sense for her and that is an ethical shit show, pardon my beep, beep. <laughs> No, you can say that, absolutely. Well, I love this movie so much. I think it's a good time. Uh, and um, I hope people lean into it. And I think we need it right now uh, in this very dark, interesting time. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a roller, it's a roller coaster. And, and being able to, to have seen it three times now with an audience, it was the joy was so was so, so fun to sit with a group of people and, and watch it and go on that ride. And um, also just like how, where it is centered makes me so happy and all of it. So I'm so excited for people to to see it. Yeah, and, and, and also the, the, the reminder that like great filmmaking and something that elevates the spirit, like something that really makes you feel jo joyful um, is, is very powerful and very needed in this climate. And, and, and so, you know, that's always what inter where entertainment came in was when, you know, throughout history has been in when times and, you know, the political landscape and are, are challenging and economic landscape is challenging. Entertainment really comes in to kind of hold the, and elevate people in a time when you need to kind of disappear and, and feel that sort of wish fulfillment, you know. And, and this movie does give that experience. We, we, haven't, we haven't had many of them that are new. I mean, with the Marvel world does a great job of creating these worlds that are really fun, but we haven't had these, you know, big kind of new uh, original concepts that are that are that are a little more that are more character oriented, you know. And I think this really. I hope that I hope that we continue to make movies like this, uh, and and that people go to the theater and support them because. You know, we need that theater going experience. It's a collective experience and it's it's everything is you know, that's that's good that's good for our well being, you know. Thank you, ladies. Thank you Thanks. so much. <laughs> and then watch it over the holidays on Netflix. And then there's that. And then you can go then you can then you can watch it again. And again and again and again. Absolutely. Thank you so much.